Hello. And welcome to a lecture for Lady Lamb. And tonight is the Libra Eclipse. So it's time to pull some energy, folks. So these are some cards that I pulled earlier in the night. So this is the beginning of the eclipse. And uh, I just thought I'd reshuffle them and see what else came out. Manifestation. So I'm just thinking about the overall energy at the moment, which is digging deep. The energy is quite deep for looking into what one can achieve in this kind of intensity. So your thoughts may go quite profound onto some profound stuff and then I'm finding then they sort of kick back into the present or sometimes they just kick you go in the present and you kick back into the past and then you have this memory of maybe something that gave you a shock and that's just the shadow energy kicking in or it can be in reverse because it's in Libra it's uh, balanced so it's equal black and white so you can be having a bit of a shadow episode and then you kick back into the present so i think that card really represents being number five pentagram um life's what you make it what i'm getting from that one life is what you make it hour by hour day by day minute by minute second by second it is what you put into it and it is the perspective that you're bringing in that moment Okay, yes, no one, please. Let's have a look at the emotional energy under the eclipse in Libra. The energy has definitely got duality and it does create a little bit of confusion. So, if you've been having a bit of a confusing day, it's quite alright. So, just tune into your meditations, put on some relaxing background music, try not to rile up your family, your partner, your loved ones, just try and find a quiet space to do some deep-seated contemplation in this energy and you can maybe just allow yourself to be a bit more self-absorbed than usual and just dwell in that space and see what you can find. Okay, so these ones came out about three hours ago but no more wants to come out, it's like it's like the energy's already changed, just in three hours. It was about three hours, no, it wasn't even three hours, two hours ago. But maybe 90 minutes, um, I pulled these cards, and it's another one. All right, there's no reversal on this deck. Son of Swords. So that's sort of getting into some cerebral. We'll um, go into that a bit later. Let's get another one for it actual cerebral <laughs> so it, it looks like that the all the energy is in the mind because that's a cerebral card in the emotional position and i'm not going to make the cards fit the spread that's what came out for the emotion so we have to run with that so yeah you're not in your heart space you're in your head everyone's everyone's that one just wants to flip around i might grab that one so we've got the justice which came out on my last spread a couple of days ago so this does represent equal polarities so this is the card for Libra and it's it's the light and the shadow together together as one so a lot of us do actually ignore the shadow self but tonight it exists as one so this has come up for the cerebral. So in your mind, you are embracing your shadow. And that might freak you out a bit. It might feel like that you've got dual personalities going on. All right, so I didn't really get too much more, although I've got the stars, so there could be some, you know, this is focusing on energy, but it's also quite an, um, it's like a, a growing intensity, a growing energy. So there's some growth available to you tonight. On the bottom of the deck, I've got the death card, which is the card for the 
transformation. It's also a watery based card. It represents the Scorpius constellation. But it's about fluidity. So you might find that you, you know, four seasons in one hour or uh, six, six things will change in your diary and, you know, in the, in the space of a morning and you just got a plan, but, you know, I'm feeling like your plan is not going to go to plan. That's what I'm getting from this. Something interesting could come out. You could find that something cancels, but something else occurs. Getting the feeling that what you had planned isn't the plan. It's the plan behind the new plan. That's what I'm getting. Um, let's just uh, let's just um, do a fresh shuffle for um, just get something. What's stabilizing this energy? That one doesn't want to go back in still. Um, number ten. All right, so that's the ten of wands. Okay, so that can mean too much information. So this could be clouding your mind. But also 10 denotes to 1 on my channel. So it just means that you can't take the overload. And it just means that you'll cut back things that are not priority. And just focus on your own energy. And this means that you may have a few cancellations. Or you may cancel a few things. But it's all good. Because you're meant to come back to your source. Your your own energy. This is This is pulling you back into your own energy. Which is what you want because that brings you into the present moment all right i oh. all right there's another 10 right there yeah two tens double 10 so that's 10 of pentacles so that's growth that's full growth focusing on self so 10 denotes to one so you've got maximum growth and maximum action but 10 goes back to one which means it's direct it's, it's being re redirected beyond, uh, towards the self and i've got the emperor car just poking out there which is really about the ego it's bringing you back to the ego what is good for number one is what i'm getting here what is good for number one Let's have one more piece to complete the uh, the pentagram. Five for good or for ill. Let's just have one more please. Okay, so we've got the eight of cups. That's change. So that's emotional change. That is definitely um, emotional energy. The cups represent our energy, heart space. And the eight of I think that's water oh look check out the duality so i've got moon and sun awesome and if you have a look if you turn it upside down it's got one cup up and six cups down so this is normally this way up so it's six cups up and one cup down but tonight it's about the one cup that's up so you might have a situation where Everything's pointing towards the six cups and you think that that's the harmony. But tonight you've realised that it's that one little piece, that one small bit of of the puzzle that's important um, that you haven't thought of and that that's come to mind. And you thought, oh, well, I didn't think about that, but I now realise that's relevant. So something that you were seeing as a bit of an extra the burden is now come to the forefront because six is harmony and that one extra just pushes it into challenge but it was this way up so so it's now about the challenge energy all right so on the bottom we've got the, the duality of the of the uh of lovers card and it's in reverse so yep there's plenty of uh, duality in the air tonight. Let's just pick one to focus on. Let me just have one that stands out for my subscriber. That one turn around, but it doesn't want to come out. Just one to focus on for my subscribers. So we're doing the 
Libra Eclipse tonight. The energy is all over the flipping shop, but it's juicy. Juicy and juicy and um, quite spectacular and rather odd. So I lost something tonight and I ended up finding it in my du duvet cover. It took me hours to find it. I don't know how I got in there. So there's a little, a little bit of strange one going on. Strange brew I'm in. Okay. Oh, that one. Alright, yeah. So we're fully in a, um, in a balanced space here, light and dark. It's not often that we have 50-50. It's not often that we have, have it in, in complete harmony. So we're not used to it. That's what I'm getting. So we'll read that one. We're not used to having the 50-50. We're used to having more light than dark in our lives. We're not used to shadow hanging around. Or it doesn't come to the forefront. But tonight, it's in your face, baby. It's in your face. Okay, so can we have a description? Can you take me to the page? So there is an element of closure with the death card. Something could be coming to the end. Something you've just gone, nah, no more of that. Finish with that, I'm done with that. No, nah, I've changed my mind. That's the energy I'm getting from that uh, on the gravity door of perception on the bottom. This one is decisions and karma. This is a uh, justice number eight. So yeah, this is about decision making. This is about bringing about change. With tails entwined, two cats look directly at you, waiting for you to choose between them. But which is right and which is wrong? The justice card implies a weight or heaviness surrounding a choice you have to make. Now, is not the time to shun the concept of divine balance or karma. All of your choices affect your life. And sometimes the lives of those around you, both now and in the future. So all of your choices affect your life. Even what you have for breakfast can affect your life and those around you. So choose wisely, my friend. Alright, that's all I have for you. I hope this was helpful. Um, take it easy. Um, it, it is a bit confusing out there tonight. Um, if you're in other parts of the world, you might be getting through the day. Okay, just one last one to close out with. We've got a little bit of... Uh, this is um, temperance. So we've got the lemmascape, which also represents change. It's definitely a change in the air, but this is also uh, a more, you know... It, Getting things in moderation, temperate, you know, just just cool it. It's just tuning into your intuition on a on a matter, um, and power. Uh, taking the power position may not be uh, the the right way, and uh, there may be another way round um, a a matter, uh, a problem, and um, high priestess means just tuning into your own higher wisdom and um just being you know smart and um aloof you don't need power to win is what i'm getting you just need to remove yourself from a situation and get into your own energy field if you're trying to nut something out and then you can come find the solution on your own in your own in your own solitude is what i'm getting here you don't have to tell anyone you don't have to nut it out and number five again is it can go either way uh, be careful um about what um energy you tune into for good or for ill you can you know tune into your own energy if the energy around you is finding it's dragging you down or you're being baited or um um somebody in your energy field is trying to assert themselves and take 
all the power for themselves, um, they're probably going to uh, end up a loser is what I'm getting here. All right, for you, go in love and peace and a happy um, eclipse in Libra. It's a, it's a beautiful energy to be um, transmuting into a new project or, uh, or finalising a little bit of business.